Hi, y'all. Virginia Piper here. You know, I've had a sense of excitement and trepidation when walking the streets of New York City. It's an exciting place, but I've learned to walk with my wallet in my front pocket and not to look up in wonders at the tall buildings like a tourist. To stay out of trouble, you gotta fit in. You have to look like you belong there. And I'm not certain that three guys accomplished that by walking up the city blocks while smoking their pipes. Yeah, that's something you see every day. <laughs> well, years ago, a number of us on my pipe smokers under 30 Yahoo group decided to meet up in New York City to check out some of the tobacconists. And at that time I was single and had a disposable income. So it was an excellent opportunity to meet up with some members of that group in person. And well, we um, explored a few shops. Barkley Rex, Matt Sherman and Davidoff. Well, each visit was an experience loved checking out the displays in the store windows and going inside and just admiring uh, their collections and, well, expanding our, and I also got a chance to expand my collection a little bit too. Among my acquisitions was a Calabash pipe. Now the pipe has mistakenly been linked to Sherlock Holmes. In fact, at the Baker Street subway shop in London, there's tile work depicting the great detective with that very pipe. The literature, however, describes Holmes' pipes and none of them was a calabash. Well, the calabash pipe that I purchased was a disappointment. The bowl doesn't really hold that much tobacco and it's a challenge to keep the airway clear. And besides that, you have to hold it. And I usually enjoy a pipe while I'm writing, and that's an impossibility with the calabash. But I still have it. I can't seem to part with any of my pipes, even the ones that are no longer usable. Well, we enjoyed our pipes and some pleasant conversation at a, pipe, at a pub afterward. Smoking was allowed then. Overall, it was by far one of the best adventures I've had.